what is a rights issue and why you should never miss a rights issue. That's our topic for discussion today in the Market Secrets Investment Series. Before we begin, I have a notification for you. In addition to the investment series, we are running multiple other learning series in parallel on algo trading and price action trading and trading strategies. Also, we are providing multiple data feeds in the real time for our users. So if you are interested in any of it, check out our website www.marketsecrets.in for details. And with that note, let's jump into today's session on the rights issue. Rights issue is one of the way to raise funds for publicly traded companies. Through this mode, the company makes an offer to an existing shareholders to buy additional shares in the company at a discounted price within a prescribed period. Unlike IPO, a rights issue is not offered to the general public, but only to the existing shareholders in proportion to their existing holdings. This gives existing shareholders rights. With the rights, the shareholders can purchase the new shares at a discount to the market price on a stated future date. This way, the company is giving shareholders a chance to increase their exposure to the stock at a discounted price. The eligible shareholders can either subscribe to the rights issue partially or fully, or they can just sell the rights. If you don't use the rights, it will go worthless. So if you don't intend to use the rights, you can always sell it in the open market and earn some profits. Until the date at which the new shares can be purchased, shareholders may trade the rights on the market the same way they would trade ordinary shares. So how do rights issue work? Let's say you own 1000 shares in Reliance, each of which is worth 2000 rupees. The company needs to raise cash for expansion or debt settlement and announces a rights issue through which it plans to raise 100 crore rupees by issuing 10 lakh shares to existing investors at a price of 1000 rupees each. But this issue is 1 for 10 rights issue. In other words, for every 10 shares you hold, Reliance is offering you another one at a deeply discounted price of 1000 rupees. This price is 50% less than the market price of 2000 rupees at which the Reliance stock is currently trading. So this is a sample scenario. As a shareholder, you have three options with the rights issue. You can either subscribe to the rights issue in full or ignore the rights issue or sell the rights to someone else. We can explore each of these options and possible outcomes. Number one, take up the rights to purchase in full. To take advantage of the rights issue in full, you would need to spend 1000 rupees for every reliance share that you are entitled to purchase under the issue. As you are holding 1000 shares, you can buy up to 100 shares, that is one for every 10 shares you already own. So you can buy up to 100 shares at a discounted price of 1000 rupees, so you need to invest 1 lakh rupees additionally. However, while the discount on the newly issued share is 50 percentage, the market price of the Reliance shares will not be 2000 after the rights issue is complete. The value of each share will be diluted as a result of the increased number of shares issued. To see if the rights issue in fact gives a material discount, you need to estimate how much Reliance share prices will be diluted once the right issue hits the market. But remember, the loss on your existing shareholding is offset exactly by the gain in the share value on the new rights. This works exactly like the share split or bonus or dividend. Number two, ignore the rights issue. Sometimes you may not have 1 lakh rupees to purchase the additional 100 shares at 1k each. So you can always let your rights expire, but this is not normally recommended. If you choose to do nothing, your shareholdings will be diluted thanks to the extra shares issued by the company. So in this case, you are losing money. And number three, sell your rights to other investors. In most cases, your rights issue allows you to decide whether you want to take up the option to buy the shares or sell your rights to other investors. Determining how much you may gain by selling the rights is difficult as rights are traded just like shares in the open market. But if you don't have the money or if you don't want to take up the rights issue in full, then it's always better to sell your rights to other investors and pocket some side income. So these are the various options a shareholder has when it comes to rights issue. Have you ever taken advantage of the rights issue? If not, why? 
let us know in the comment section also if you have any queries comments or feedback about this episode please leave it down in the comment section we'll be happy to answer it also hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye